Welcome to Cloud Thrive, where the goal is to create a space for all of us across the spectrum, whether you are Black, Indigenous, or consider yourself a person of color. The goal is really to establish and strengthen our social and emotional well-being and wealth. And in order to do that, we got to all sit at the table and be a part of the conversation. And that is what this is. So if you are new, welcome. If you're a regular here, get ready for the conversation. As always, we're going to start off by sharing the word of the week. We're going to follow that up by talking about our question or our topic. And then we're going to wrap that up with our weekly rewind. So get ready. Let's go. Hey there, so let's jump right on into the word of the week. But before we do that, I do have a special guest with me today. I'm gonna let her introduce herself before we get it going. Hey y'all, I'm Tanisha. And hey Tanisha, can you share a little bit about yourself? Um, I am from DC. I love steak and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love hiking with the family and also traveling with the family. It's amazing. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm all up for hiking. Steak and cheese is not that bad, you know, every once in a while. Yeah. So the word of the week is uniqueness. So what what we typically want to do when we look at words like that is we want to see moving forward for like the next coming week, how can we look for uniqueness in any and every space? So, you know, how is that something, you know, you're, you know, what is that going to look like for you? How are you going to be looking for uniqueness? Um, well, you already know that everyone is different in the world, so why not try to get a group of, like, kind of, like, the same culture or same religion and see how it is. You can always try it for yourself. It's going to be amazing. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I know, you know, for me, uh... I mean, I, I agree with you completely that, you know, everyone is different. So I think for me, it's really going to be um, stepping outside of my box, looking for different skills and, and different talents from people that, you know, I might not expect. Just finding somebody to connect with that, you know, I might not have before, especially since, you know, things are starting to go back to, uh, not, not go back to, but, you know, we're starting to move into a new uh, a new space. Uh, it's it's going to be really exciting. So just to wrap it up, do you have any final words for, for people out there with the word uniqueness and, you know, how they could probably look for it? Um, so why don't, for like a maybe, maybe an activity is to go around and see how, like something unique that you notice about people and try and like write it down and then look at it and be like, wow, that's a lot in itself. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, again, the word of the week is uniqueness. How many times do we get in the thick of having conversations around achieving goals and not leaving things on the back burner? Here's another one. So I know for me, I postponed and I kept procrastinating and putting it off and everything else was more important than just doing it and getting it out of the way and really just being great. Let me tell you something. Anchor removed all of those excuses and read me completely because when I decided I'm going to do my podcast, Anchor was there for me for a number of reasons, but for the biggest reason, it was free. After that, I mean, everything was there. Like all the tools were there. I was able to record what I needed. I could edit what I needed. I could get it out. It distributed everything. I thought I was going to have to sit there and reach out to Apple and reach out to Spotify and figure out all of the other podcast platforms. There are, first of all, too many to name. However, I didn't need to do that because Anchor did it for me. On top of that, I mean, there is no minimum listenership for you to earn money from your podcast. So again, everybody can succeed, but your route to getting there is your own. However, Anchor is going to make it easier if creating the podcast is the thing to do and that's on your list to achieve. So stop playing, get on Anchor. I encourage it. Thanks. Hey, 
Okay, so now we're getting ready to talk about our topic question, or we're about to go into the category of the week. So category this week is express yourself. So question is, when have you kept quiet when you should have spoken out? Now, for those of you who are familiar with our Instagram, with the uh, Facebook, with Twitter, I want you to kind of go into those spaces, keep the conversation going. But of course, like I shared with you guys before, we do have our special guest Nisha with us today. So this will be more of a conversation, of course. You know, when have you kept quiet when, you know, you you really should have had the urge to speak out? Um, there has actually been quite a few instances where I had to, where I actually kept, kept quiet when I should have spoken out. Um, I feel like it was more of just how my like the mindset works of you being a bystander you're just like if i don't say anything nothing will change but i'm gonna just say it now like you have a voice you should use it you and when you can you should speak out and as you speak out more and more people will actually speak out so it will cause an effect um i an instance that happened was like in school there has been times where people would steal and you find it out well you well i knew who it was and i didn't speak out about it and it ended up that the person felt really bad and had to transfer schools um oh wow yeah i should have spoken up about it but i did not because i was thinking about the consequences of it and i was just like well that was a consequence in itself right there right <clears throat> um yeah i i'm really regret that decision to this day so wow i mean i could i can uh most definitely uh see where that would be a difficult space to be and i know in the moment we may say you know we'll make a better decision or we'll do something different um but it, it sounds like you know in your situation you you were really just thinking about where you were in that situation um i most definitely have been in spaces where I should have spoken out, whether it be for me or for somebody else. Um, and oftentimes I find myself grappling with trying to figure out, you know, what's gonna happen in the short term and, and what's gonna happen in the long run. And I'm oftentimes, you know, pushed out based on, you know, just, previous experience i mean especially at work you know there's there's sometimes prejudice based on color and i don't think it's intentional um or sometimes it could be the hierarchy uh, just having managers over you and sometimes they don't see you uh for you um and and before you kind of move up they're they're doing things and you see things that that can sometimes be troubling so there have been most definitely been times that um I should have spoken out. Um, and then when I do speak up or when I do speak out, I, I understand the rippling effect it could have where people will get hurt, um, you know, emotionally. They feel like things should have gone differently and they don't. Uh, and that's usually like to your point, you know, they're dealing with the consequences of not, you know, being honest or not being upfront. Um, so yeah it's it's really a a game of just trying to figure out you know do you stay in that comfortable space or do you want to lean into the courage of like speaking out and it's getting to a point now where you know you don't want to always just speak out just because you can because some situations you don't have all the facts there to make uh, a decision but you know if you feel it right there in that moment that you should speak out you know you're fully supported um with it though you know has there been moments where you've spoken out and you know people have gotten upset with you um of course multiple times um for instance uh, again this one was actually pretty personal so i'm not going to share it but uh, um it upset the, it upset a lot of people about it and it, where they were like starting to not like their words would start to affect me in a way that put me to a dark place but then I had to realize that 
doing so, it really changed the person that I like put it towards and the people that it actually affected and actually made a better income, I mean, outcome of the uh, of the situation. So either way, you're gonna get hate no matter what because people are always gonna think that they're right and people are always gonna believe that you're wrong in no matter what situation. And there are situations where you are wrong <laughs> and they are right, so, <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah. Um, but that, yeah, there, there has been instances with that. So, how about you? Uh, I, I would say the same. I mean, one thing I most definitely am learning is, you know, like you just said, no matter, you know, there, there will be hate uh, or, or frustration on both sides, no matter what the situation is. Um, but what I, I can most definitely say is, is having conversations that are just like really uncomfortable, really going into it. One of the things that I, I really push myself to try and do anyway now uh, is make sure that everybody feels comfortable going into it. You know, everybody's not going to have uh, or be in the perfect space. But if you feel comfortable enough to sit or come to the table, then we can at least start the conversation. And it, and I think that's where, uh, whether you agree with me or not, we can have conversations about different ideas. So there have been plenty of times where, there have been plenty of times where, you know, people disagree with me or I've spoken out constantly and have been pushed aside or pushed in a corner. Um, but please believe me, I will continue to speak out because whether you oppose my idea or not, I'm going to do it respectfully. Um, and, and I think if we continue to do things like that, we're going to make progress. We're going to push through no matter what you're, you know, what it is you're doing, whether you're in school or at work. Um, I think it's really about building strong communication. So yeah, any, um, I guess kind of transitioning here or thinking about transition, is there anything that you would leave for people to kind of remember? when trying to figure out how to speak out? Well, everyone's going to have that one thing that's going to make them explode. So even if they don't find it, there's always going to be, what well, I can't even say that, there's always going to be one instance where you want to speak out and either you choose to not speak out or speak out. Right. You're, you're going to regret the option. Um, if you don't speak out, but if you actually do speak out, then I think that you're going to be surprised at the outcome of the situation. Um, and also, some things are going to be uncomfortable, but you're going to have to start changing that. That's what I'm also learning. You're going to have to start changing that into something bigger. Don't let the um, comfortable situation actually hold you back from that. Okay. I think, um, I think that's great. I think those are great ideas. Uh, one of the takeaways I think I get from, from this is really just, you know, be okay with being uncomfortable, especially having conversations because we're all different. And that's even kind of just, uh, going back to just thinking about uniqueness. And I would also say, have the conversation. There's no need to yell. There's no need to holler. Uh, you know, sometimes tempers can get high, but if you're doing what you're doing and you're passionate about it and, you know, it's objectively true, which, you know, you're not spreading a lie. You're not being forceful or, you know, you're not doing something deceitful. You know, I, I think, you know, there's, there's nothing against being honest and then really just speaking your truth and choosing courage over comfort. Um, I think more people should speak out. I think if not literally, then understand that that just simply means take a stand uh, for truth. So, you know. And also, don't be scared to ask for clarity. If you do not understand the question, please just say that instead of, <laughs> and, you know, instead of either shouting or getting more upset because you don't understand. Oh my God. Yes. Ask for clarity <laughs> and you'll be fine. Yes. I completely agree. I completely agree with that. So, you know, I want to wrap this up here. Uh, again, the question of this week, keep it going on all platforms that you see build, rise and thrive or cloud thrive. The question is, when have you kept quiet when you should have spoken out? All right. 